FC Cincinnati will play in the team's first ever home MLS playoff game. So it's remarkable when you think this is only the team's fourth season in the league. Already it's won the season's Major League Soccer Supporter Shield, which means they've won the most games of any team this year. The majority owner of the team, Carl Lindner III, calls it miraculous. He talked at length with me about the stunning turn his team has taken. so happy for our fans. I'm happy for Cincinnatians. Uh, this is uh, probably the first major league trophy since 1990. I can't imagine as an owner of a team how good that must feel. It's amazing and uh, it, it feels great. And uh, I, I'm just thankful to, uh, to God to begin with. It's when you look at the trajectory of uh, FC Cincinnati right from the beginning to now, uh, it's miraculous. Miraculous is accurate. Two years ago, FCC ended the season at the bottom of the standings and since has rocketed to the top. So if you go back a couple seasons ago, not a great season, and there had to be a point where you're rubbing your forehead as the owner of this team thinking, what did I do? Can you imagine from there to here in two quick years? I can tell you it's uh, starting off being in last place. It sure is a lot more fun being in first place. <laughs> FC Cincinnati has been a success since its inception, harnessing soccer passion in Cincinnati. We were a, uh, a sleeping giant. I think, you know, FC Cincinnati definitely was the spark that needed to happen uh, here in the community. It was Lindner and co-CEO Jeff Birding who knew Cincinnati needed Major League Soccer. They took the gamble and it's paid off. Now, on the eve of what Lindner hopes will be a long playoff run, he says Cincinnati should get ready to make TQL Stadium louder than ever. That stadium, TQL Stadium, can get pretty rowdy. <laughs> when you start thinking about the playoffs and what it's going to be like in that stadium, I, I can't even envision what that's going to be like. Can yeah, you? No, it's off the charts. Uh, you know, we have, uh, it's a fortress. Yeah. It was designed that way. In 2021, just before the stadium opened, Lindner showed me. Supporter area, you know, was, was made with um, aluminum uh, flooring so that it would be uh, even louder. So this weekend, with the Anschutz Trophy on the line. In this playoff series, uh, it's going to be off the charts, which will be a lot of fun. And that might be the biggest understatement, especially if FCC gets the win. So when the season started, Leonard tells me the goal was to be one of the top four teams in the league. Obviously, they have far exceeded that goal. I should note there's still a few tickets left for that Sunday game. Really? Yeah. 